Over the last century, America has invested heavily in innovation, funding research and development in science and technology, from the internet and GPS to the polio and COVID-19 vaccines. But recent federal policy shifts have cut access to funding, leaving many in the scientific community to question, how will the next great American breakthrough happen? The kind that one Virginia high schooler is hoping to make. If ever there was a believer in the awesome power of human potential, Haman Bakella strikes the note. A 16-year-old pianist with a head for science, intent on altering our treatment for skin cancer. I mean, to me, it just sounded like the solution was really simple. There is skin cancer treatment available to so many people that can afford it and there are people that need it that can't afford it, so why not make it more affordable? Introducing Skin Cancer Treating Soap, or SCTS for short. At 14, he took the science community by storm. Heyman Bekele. Winning 3M's Young Scientist Challenge. That landed him on the cover of Time Magazine as Kid of the Year. We'll explain how it works in a second. But first, how he got here. Sometimes you just have to do a cold call, get on the uh, internet and email somebody. That's how at age 13, Heyman caught the attention of microbiologist Dr. J. William Fox, associate director at the University of Virginia's Comprehensive Cancer Center. He was certainly enthusiastic, more focused, more intent, and, and really seemed committed to learning as much as he could and a mentorship was born. He wanted to cure cancer with soap. <laughs> and you go, well, okay, you know, we have to be open to all things. That's what science is about, right? And so I said, let's talk about it. And I said, why? Why would you even want to do that? Coming to America at age four, Heyman was inspired by the hardships he recalled as a young child in Ethiopia. Hi, I'm Heyman McKenna, and I'm here to end melanoma. There are so many people that, without knowing about the inherent risk of long hours under UV radiation, still work really long hours under the hot sun. And so now I, I really do look back at those memories and, and feel even more motivated to continue to work on something affordable and accessible for skin cancer treatment. You credit the school system a lot. Mm -hmm. Mom, Mulumebet Bekela, joined him for our interview. He is very empathetic and he has a good heart. He sees a problem and he always thinks of how can I make this better, you know? I never thought he would make this medical breakthrough, but I knew he would get somewhere. How do you foster creativity? I mean, what was he showing you at five and six that you realized he's advanced? Yeah, so asking multiple questions. Like what? Like what happens when if I mix a rotten milk to some other like mulch, you know, things rotten like milk? that. Always being curious and wanting to know what would happen if he mixes things up. That's like that curiosity you have to foster as a parent, you know, never discouraged what he did. Did you have the answer? I did not. It's not like answering his question. It's like either guiding him to where he has to go ask and encouraging him to ask his teacher's questions. After winning that $25,000 prize money from 3M, he partnered with Rebecca Lab, a cancer research arm of Johns Hopkins to test his hypothesis. So this is what, lab? This is our science lab at our school. Carter G. Woodson High School in Fairfax, Virginia, where he took us through the trial and error of his method beginning first with liquid soap. We'll put some soap into here. Okay. You'll see that the, the soap didn't really mix in. Half of it dissolved, half of it stayed right on the top. That fail led him to a good old fashioned alternative, bar soap. The way that it started originally was two ingredients. It was, it was a drug and it was a transport. So the drug, it's a mouthful, but it's called imidazoquinoline. It's, it's- Imidazoquinoline. Quinoline. Imidazoquinoline, yeah. Imidazoquinoline. You got it. Okay. <laughs> and it's this drug that's been used in the past to treat different forms of skin cancer. I think the novelty of the bar of soap is really 
more in the fact that it's in a bar of soap. And that it doesn't degrade in the bar of soap. Exactly. And so how they kind of synergize is uh, the, the drug is in the middle and then the nanoparticle wraps around that drug. And then when it's on a bar of soap, you know, you put on your skin and the water will wash away the soaps and the suds. But you remember the drug treats the cancer and the, and the nanoparticle will keep it stuck on the skin at a very molecular level. Payment's discovery comes at a time when the scientific community is under the microscope, fending off cuts to both research and programs nurturing the next generation of young talent. Science requires you actually have a hypothesis and you have to prove it, and that's research. And that requires funding and support. We recognize that without this pipeline of young people getting to experience this, science won't go anywhere. It's the young people that do it. <laughs> For now, Heyman isn't discouraged, and neither is his biggest advocate. I am proud of not only the invention, the innovation that he made, I'm proud of his persistence, his character. I'm just proud of, you know, the person who has become, you know. What's your advice to other young people out there who have your curiosity, your strength to follow through? I would say to, to dream big. I mean, ambition is what took me here, even, even when it didn't really seem like it was possible. I would say to anybody who has an idea or a figment of an idea, just go full on it. I, it, it, I promise you it will be worth it. So just continue working hard and follow your dreams. He's remarkable, Unreal. to say the least. You know, he, he's hoping for FDA approval, but that is years and years off. He's, he's testing his hypothesis, uh, hypothesis, his prototype, as we speak. But you know, this is like just another indication of just how long a process is to go from in innovation, invention, right. to standard care and he's gonna stick with it. And a uh, reason why, yes, we need funding and to encourage young people and the education and all of that, Heyman Bakela, we're never gonna, Heyman Bakela. Yeah, you got we it. Will, we will remember that name, that kid is remarkable. Yeah. What a remarkable yeah. young man. We need so more proud of, of that. him. Yeah. yeah.